All right, I think we're live. Are we live? Let's check. Let's check. Let's check. We we are live. What's going on? It's Bobby, Justin, the snacks. While I retweet in the studio, we're here to talk Giants, answer some questions, give away some T-shirts. Yeah. Um. What's going on, fellas? We're in the Bronx. Justin, why don't you lead the way? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're better you're not, at hosting when we're not in, when I'm in person. Yeah, you're not very good at this, and I'm also trying to make sure that we're sounding okay. Uh, we are here in the Bronx, John Boy Media HQ headquarters. We got Nikki Snacks here, yeah, uh-huh. for the first time. And, yeah, uh, it's beautiful. In here. Of course, this is the first time you're also meeting Bobby too, right? No, no, we didn't. Fan fest. Fan fest. Fan fest. Yeah. I. Why did I think that it's was crazy, man? Everyone. What I noticed since the last time we were here, which was Fan Fest week, they took basically every sticker away. Except for the people who can't see, there's one on the ceiling that says "Talk to Giants" that no one else can reach but me. So that's nice. You actually can do that. You can stand up and reach that. Yeah, easily. Like it's just it's actually it's not as easy as I thought, but I can do it. It's barbaric, like absolutely barbaric. All right, so ask us some questions, and then we're gonna give away some shirts. I, I think we should give away a shirt early for like the people who showed up first, right? Yeah, yeah. Notification squad. I think that's how that works. You so. have question. You have a question, right? So which one should we do first? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're here to talk giants, but while we're doing it, we're gonna give away five shirts. If you see the pinned comment, everything is twenty percent or twenty one percent off in the store. We're honoring Robert uh, Roberto Clemente today. Um, or the year. N- nope, it's Roberto. <laughs> we're a baseball company, Roberto Clemente. Um, and then so we're going to ask questions and then the winner gets it. And then you'll, you know, you'll have to like show your comment and, and just d- direct message my personal Twitter account. Don't do the talk. I don't check the talking Giants DMs because I feel bad. Some people yeah. do. And I just never check them. But uh, DM my personal Twitter account or my personal Instagram at Bobby Skinner underscore. Yeah, wow, good pull for the Instagram follow account. Yeah. I mean, well, it's the talking Giants ones. I don't check those. For, I check those like every two days. So, um, how we feel about Kadarius Tony being out because that really puts a damper. Or are we going to give away the shirt first or are we going to talk about the Giants? Okay, which question do we want to do first? All right, how many times? Here's the question. So we are giving away five items on the Talking Giants store today. We have some sweatshirts. We have some shirts. Uh, there's even a blanket, um, stickers. I mean, there's some beanie. Beanie. I, ju- I just got this beanie today. Beanie, yeah. yeah, beanie's got some hats too. So there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the, the, the link of the store is in the description. Everything is 21% off, like Bobby said anyway. Pin comment, too. Uh, pin comment, too, if you want to check it out. So we're going to ask five questions. We're giving away five, five items to five people. First question is, how many times has Snacks snacks been kicked out of MetLife? Which I don't know the number. You have, I, I figured it out, yeah. But I, I have to look for the answers in the chat. Oh, oh, okay. Well, if you read them off. Put right. it on your phone and I'll get it. Yeah. All right, so how are we feeling about Kadarius Tony? Being out and just see, this is why we can do anything. This is why we can have nice things. How are we feeling about Kadarius Tony being out? Because Kadarius Tony being in had me. I'll see, we're getting a bunch of guesses right now. Uh, so let, right, me, let when, you let me know the number. I'll uh, I'll see which one ends up winning. Is it the same? Is it the same number that you said pre-show? Okay. No, it's not. All right. So we'll. I, I was off by a couple. All right. So we'll uh, we'll look for that. Um. Because with Freddie Kitchens opening up the field, and specifically with the Eagles matchup, and I'm getting a little nerdy here off the off off rip, but it was like the Eagles stopped the big play. Like they have the lowest average depth of target, but that doesn't mean that you can't stretch the field and hit your underneath guys. And who's the perfect guy to hit underneath? Kadarius Tony. So him being out makes me not even talking about like wins losses because really this the, this game for me is all about the offense. Like I want to they fired their offensive coordinator. They're changing things. I know they can't change. The anything's Thomas, you won. Um, he got it. Yeah, he got ten. He was the first time. So people guess zero, and that actually was wow. a really good, a really good guess. But it's ten times. You, that, that means they don't know you. No, absolutely not. That's. No. But it's a good guess that people wouldn't think of. Like I would have. That might have been my guess. I never knew really? you got picked out of that. No, you're, you're, you're fucking psychic. Man. I'm just absolutely out of my mind. I, so out of the ten, I, I'm real quick. I'm sorry. I counted four against the Cowboys. Nice. Yeah. It's forty yeah. percent for the people at home. It's Hall of Fame type stuff. So it you is. can get this shirt or that hoodie, this shirt, this shirt, this shirt. All you know, there's all types of stuff. So check it out. So where, so where's Thomas messaging you again? What? Where's Thomas messaging you? What do you mean? Your personal Twitter. Because he won. Oh, I thought you were saying Andrew <laughs> Thomas. No, not not Andrew Thomas. Um, no, we all know you talk. My to personal Thomas. Twitter account or my personal Instagram. Uh, so Thomas uh, Kutia. And I'm glad someone with that using their real name knows. So yeah, we, so we, we can, know that we can verify. We can verify easy. Like yeah. it's just going to be a little easier. 
Um, so yeah, Tony being out ball. So ask some football questions, obviously. Um, Tony being out ballers me one just because he's a really good player, but like this game is all about the offense and seeing how this yeah. offense uses weapons. And now you have, you know, my talking point this year has been if you have a, a trio of Kenny Galladay, Tony, and Sterling Shepard as your wide receivers, if two of those guys are playing, you've got a good wide receiver core. Now that two of them aren't playing, I don't think we have a great wide receiver core. And on top of that, they're going to be forcing the ball at Kenny Galladay. Oh, like, he's going to be force fed the ball. Absolutely. And you said, you said before, maybe, uh, People might get mad at this, but this is all about the offense. And if we lost 55 to 30, you wouldn't be mad because they scored 30 points. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I want to <laughs> well, win. Know, I, yeah, but like, but, that would be the happiest I would be after right, a loss in right. a long time if we scored 30 points in a loss. Not happy with the loss, but I would walk away and be like, okay, we've got something here with some of these players. You can scheme yeah. around offensive line. And it's like you go into the offseason, like, okay, they know that this guy's going to be their QB, but they got to build up the O-line. You could build on that, you know, because it's not even just about the offense in general. It's about Daniel Jones, mm -hmm. you know, like these next and, – and we'll probably have Daniel Jones here next year regardless. So, you know, it's it's more of us just as fans. But it's like these next seven games, like, should form your you – somewhat form your opinion on Daniel Jones. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it's – no, it's even it's it's big for next year too because it goes in with we have more of an idea whereas next year is Daniel Jones is just a little bit more of a sitting lame duck. Well, even going he, to year four, don't know like that sucks. Yeah, like he's got to yeah. ball out. It can't be like a, eh, it's got to be either you ball out or you're gone. Right. And they have a they have a big decision too with the with the fifth year option. So the, the next seven games is is pretty talented. Did they change the rule where you can't cut someone after you because? Like Evan Ingram, Jabril Peppers, they picked up the fifth-year option. Yeah. They could have cut those guys and not had any dead cap cap at and, uh, like April first. Right, right. Months. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure of the rule. Um, I, I just I was listening on the radio and they're like it could be the same thing like a Sam Donald situation when he went to Carolina and they picked it up right away and they're like oh he looks he looks good they're geniuses for doing that and now it's like uh, do they regret doing that? Oh yeah, they definitely regret so, doing that. You know, um, so seven games to really to really see, and I'm glad they finally. Have a new play caller in there. We, regardless of, oh, but, good, uh, good for me. I said it. I said it in the Twitter spaces the other day. But good for me, Jason Garrett. Being yeah, up. really. That that's big for your reputation. It's massive. Everybody blaming. Like they, they think I'm Jason Garrett. Yep. It's awful. Well, because I have red hair. Yep. That's exactly it. Answer you just answered. You just answered your own question. So, so let's look at some of the disparaging comments. I will die for Daniel Jones, and Daniel Jones is not going to be good for us. So the fan base is split on Daniel Jones, which honestly you should be. Yeah. You know, like I don't buy the thing like, oh, you can't evaluate him, but you can't fully evaluate him, and that usually leans more negative. Like I was on um, with SNY the other day, and they asked me like, is he the guy? It's like, well, you can't say that he is. So if you're asked if it's a yes or no, you would say no because if you can't say yes, it's no. Yeah. Now it's obviously there's a lot more nuance to it, but like right now, it, it would be a no because the answer is not yes. I know that sounds kind of simple. Well, um, I mean, but it's it's fully true. true. Yeah. I actually like the way you put that too. If you can't say yes, then the answer is no. Right, right, and especially in year three, you know, yeah. like year one, you could year like after year one, could you say for sure he was the answer? No, but I felt pretty confident saying, like, I think I'm pretty sure he is the answer. Yeah. You know, like, I felt very good. After year one, I felt very confident in Daniel Jones. After year two, I still liked him, but I was like, if it, I was like, I'm, 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 I'm ready to jump off the wagon this year if need be. And then this year has been, like, the most frustrating yeah. thing because it's, like, been right in the middle where you got four games where it's, like, you know, this guy's top of the league and all the advanced stats and just, you know, like, not just Giants fans wanting him to be good. People around the league were noticing Daniel Jones. Thomas goes out, they play bad, and then obviously on Monday Night Football, he was he was bad. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scheme was bad, Olin was bad, but he was bad. He was bad outside of that. But like the really good, like the Saints game, when he had everybody healthy, Andrew Thomas playing well, everybody healthy, they beat up on a really good defense. Yeah, what, yeah 400 yards passing. So it, it, the potential and the talent is there to do it. Let's see if he can have a competent – Offensive scheme and a play call. Yeah, know? that's why the next seven seven games are huge. I mean, that, that's that's why you know because we we have been saying for over three hundred and sixty five days. I mean that that has been you know Bobby and I we don't like to repeat ourselves and we say that all the time. It's you know we take pride in not repeating ourselves, not repeating ourselves, not repeating ourselves. But the thing that we were repeating ourselves with, and and there were some people that were getting tired of it. You got to stop talking about Jason here. But it's like we couldn't. You know? well, you, well, you we we were to. we yeah. were consistent with it, and now you know he's 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 not here, and that's the link that. That we've been saying that is, lar is largely holding everything back. Now this is still his offense, and it's still the system, and they're not going to become the greatest show on turf. But you know, 
the training wheels should be taken off of Daniel Jones a little bit. And that's the big thing. So. Yeah. yeah. How many times have you mentioned with Colt McCoy last year and Freddie Kitchens calling the plays, they were throwing the ball down? It was insane. 15, yeah. out of, 15 out of the 31 passing attempts went more than 10 air yards. And I thought that game was a perfect example of blaming that that was on the players. Yeah. And even, you know, we, we gave Jason Garrett a lot of credit. A game that people, you know, because it was end of the season, after they lost to the Ravens, that was a game where me and Justin got in front of the microphone. So Jason Garrett called a good game. Yeah. The players didn't execute. And Daniel Jones, like, diagnosed what, but, like, you go through the drives. Well, the, one, the defense was really horrible in that mm -hmm. game. But you go through the drives. They had, like, a third and four, and then they get two back-to-back -back false starts. That's not yeah. Jason Garrett's fault. We end up. They had a third down. Austin Mack drops a pass. That's not Jason Garrett's fault. Then you have in the red zone. Jason Garrett calls up a great man beater play. No one beats their man coverage. It's an incompletion. You kick a field goal, and then you have three points of the half on three drives. Like that's not Jason. Well, that was that was back, and those were the two most aggressive game plans of the game of the year, like stat wise, not just eye test wise. Um, and that's where you know those are the two games I thought they were yeah. best called were Cleveland and Baltimore. Yeah, Tampa as well, but uh, numbers wise, it wasn't the most aggressive. All right, we got Mr. Brownstone, who I'm very excited to meet tomorrow and go out with, which you're not going out with me tomorrow because you decided to go to a – that should be a question uh, for sure. Is, do you go to a 10-year high school uh, high school reunion? Yes. See, I didn't even think they think did so. that. I'm, I'm surprised. I thought, no, 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 20, I, I I thought at 20 that. years you did it. I didn't think at 10 years you did a high I school I usually go every year. There, there's an opportunity at, at St. Peter's Prep where it's called, uh, it's called Jug Night, and – the graduates of the last 10 class years can all get together the night before Thanksgiving. Oh, so that's I, cool. It's not a reunion, yeah. but it's just a get together. So I usually go to that. So I don't hate a 10 year. I like, I would go to my 10 year reunion. Right? I know, okay. All right. So that makes me feel a little bit. This is my five year reunion. But Bobby's, a five -year, Bobby's a miserable Florida person. So yeah, this probably, is true. You know. Well, my school is very small where like they don't really, like my high school class was 82 people. I graduated in 87. So the people I'm going to probably see tomorrow or. Oh, my laptop. Uh-oh. Laptop just died. Is it dead? Is it not charging? Maybe it died. I don't know. Oh, boy. It's still um, alive, though. Oh, that's good to hear. I think it just shut down. Lovely. Um. So, Mr. Brownstone's chat was highlighted. It'll probably stay highlighted until we fix this. Yeah, I'm at 41%. So, he... Yeah. I'm very, I'm very excited to meet Mr. Brownstone. Yeah, he's a funny guy. We'll have to figure out, a, we'll have to figure out a place uh, near, near the. Isn't it Reds the place that everyone goes to around? Reds, here? but I'm, I, I like Reds, but I'm trying to think like near the stadium. Near the stadium. I mean, Reds is a half mile away from your hotel, so that's a sports bar and it's that's probably your best they'll, bet. They'll yeah, have we're not trying to go to a club. Or they'll have college football on and, and stuff like that. Bobby's laptop. There's a out. place in, in Sea Caucus that you might like too. Maybe my laptop's just broken. But Sea Caucus is kind of yeah, that's not too far. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. Like, he doesn't. I mean, he's yeah, relying, he's relying on me driving him everywhere. Well, tomorrow I can figure out myself, and I'll have Mr. Brownstone who's going to be driving up. I'll have Mr. Brownstone driving. Perfect. Me. I have Ruben, too. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think Ruben got a rental, so. Hey, let's talk about this. I mean, L16, L17 on the curb. Do we promote that yet? A little bit. A little bit. L16, L17 on the curb in between those two lots. Bobby Skinner, this myself, Snacks, some other people, a lot of other people. We're going to we're gonna be catering. We're going to be catering the, the Philadelphia Eagle game uh, yeah. for a tailgate. Yes, yeah, so. Candlewick Diner, East Rutherford, New Jersey. So Third come hang out with us, and uh, we're going to have a good time. So that's uh, so that's that. What else? What else we got? Bobby, did you get all those matching? Did you get all those matches through the airport? Did you get all matches. those matches through the airport. Yeah, no, you can buy matches anywhere, believe it or not. You can buy matches <laughs> anywhere. Um, thanks for making today happen. Oh, I'm a little more scared doing those jokes right now because it's like I'm actually going to be there and they could deem me as a threat. That is true. Um, I'll be there Sunday. Tom, Thomas, Thomas is going to be at the at the game Sunday. Can't oh, the guy who that. guessed the, the, the winner. Yes. Oh, nice. Can't cool. Leave my laptop. Maybe it's the cold air that's breaking my laptop. What do you mean? It's not cold inside. It's breaking me. Well, it's been out in the cold air. Um, you really you're going to struggle. You're oh, gonna, it's going to be No, struggle. I tested it out. My my winter jacket fits over my hoodie. So, And I bought I bought pajama pants as long johns. I'm going to buy a, a young joker mask, and I'm going to buy gloves. I'm going to be covered up. And I got my Talking Johns beanie, 21% off, uh, honoring Rob Roberto Clemente. Uh, for the for such a gargantuan of human being, the fact that you can't handle the cold a little bit is unbelievable to me. I weigh like eight pounds and I'm fine. Your blood's thin. You know, it's funny. The audio is not thick. coming from the microphone. So on the, on the, on the street. So people can't hear us right now? No, they can hear us. It's just bad. 
Oh, no. Because you, like, you, like, put it down to your side, and, and it, it, it didn't even change anything. So. Did anybody, like, comment that? And yeah, like, Eli yeah. was, like, because they saw that Bobby put the microphone down, and it's, like, it's not any different. Oh, Eli? Is he going again? People, Eli people, yeah, no one, people can hear us. No one's complained about it. It's, so. it's, 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 not, um, it's not wonderful, but you know what? I'm going to act like it works. Yeah. It, it absolutely works. That's what I'll say. It <laughs> works. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 it's this is why I hate this coming is to John the Boy office. Media's fault. This is, <laughs> this is why this is why I hate coming to the office. We could have done this at my hotel too. Yeah, we well, I don't I, I don't even know if we have a roadcast. Nobody responds to me in the company Slack, so what? I've I've put no, no Bill messages. has Bill has the roadcaster. Oh he does? Bill's isn't he the one handling the roadcaster stuff with that? I don't know. Bill responds very quickly. Bill's the best employee in the company, in my opinion. But after me. Um, nope, I asked people, where is, can I borrow a roadcaster, and I haven't heard a response. Maybe that's a you problem. Yeah, you, you should figure this out before today. Stop blaming other people for your issues. Um, I mean, I'd answer you. You know how many times you don't They just tweeted from John Boy and Jake TV talking to us first of all, be a little more grateful. Um, I don't think I'm wrong. Um, Who would have us put a pay? Oh, T Shep is out, Tony is doubtful. Tony's doubtful. Okay, I can live with that. I can get get a little hope behind that. Has anybody ever played when being doubtful? <laughs> I mean, like, what, yeah. what, what, what does that even mean, that doubtful? Just say he's out. They, they, I don't like how they changed it from probable. They took away probable. They took away probable, yeah. which Which makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah I, I always like probable. Yeah. So do I have thick blood or thin blood from being a down south? Thin. Someone said. Yeah, I think you switched it. You would have thin. Yeah, I figured I that's a, that's a Rickyism. I got that wrong. That's a Rickyism. Um, all right, let's. Get, what, what, so how we're sixteen minutes in. Let's give away another shirt. Let's give away another shirt. Yeah. Something else. So, oh, let's see. And we're giving away shirts. You know, some of the examples are this Air Drew shirt, brand new, brand new. Media, which this is personally my favorite. Like, <laughs> like I, there's shirts I like that are good shirts. I clearly love this one. Ask a question. Uh, thank you, Eli. What are you pointing at? I'm, I'm on the screen. I'm pointing at the shirt. Uh, oh, okay. he's just trying to move. I thought you were so. trying to like signal something to me. No. And then we have the hoodie, which is just a good, a good purchase. Um, or you could get the draft hoodie, which from last yes, year. Yes, I do. This is my favorite thing. You got to show the back. The comfy. Oh, well, I like the smaller logo on it too. Yeah. The Talking Giants versus the World. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. So, what's the next question, Justin? What do you next got question it? is: What current giant? Does Bobby Skinner share a birthday with? This mm -hmm. is a current giant. Should we give them the hint of when your birthday is? No, no, because I think I've shared it before. Okay. So what current giant does Bobby Skinner share a birthday with? If you guess it first, you get anything you want from the store. Can I guess? No. Yeah, I think well, you I probably know. Do you know? Yeah. Actually, yeah, I told you, you earlier. Just, <laughs> we talked about this in the park. I kind of want to touch you. I know. I'm just bothered that my laptop died at 41, percent but it is what it is. So we got. I'll see where. It, wow, the first one. Got it already. Ex Dutch McFinner. Oh, boy. Andrew Thomas. Me and Andrew Thomas share a birthday. Yes. Which is we were saying it before. Unbelievably fitting. Yeah, because like Andrew the Thomas way, was yeah. my guy. You know, yeah. like there's draft talk. Like I was basically like the only person in Giants land like pounding the table like Andrew Thomas. Like mm -hmm. I believe in this dude. Like, I don't want Jessica Wills. I don't want uh, Mekhi Beck. I want Andrew Thomas. Um, All right, so X Dutch, message Bobby on either his personal Instagram or his personal Twitter. Um, with proof, like yeah, you a, have a to screenshot prove. that that's your YouTube account. You have to prove that it's your YouTube account and uh, message Bobby on one of those and pick an item from the store. Congratulations. Awesome. Wait, you, you, by the way, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy like, Thanksgiving. Happy, happy holidays. We didn't say anything. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. Happy Thanksgiving. No happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm everything, just, everything stops. Aren't you thankful for your loyal viewers? I'm thankful that our microphones aren't working, that we're in a, that we're in a professional studio, and, <laughs> and, not and nothing ever works for me when I come here. Blame nothing. Big Baby Dave. Now, I, I, I'm going to blame everything besides myself. The real football fans, girls of New Jersey, said, when's my birthday? January 22nd. I saw uh, the other Caitlin turn 30, um, which, old. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm turn, I turn 30 in January, and I'm a little bit dreading just saying that number. Yeah, I'm, I'm pushing myself, and it's not good. Yeah. It's really not. Y'all well, are really old. It's really good. Caitlin, I know. It bothers that. me that, like, how much younger you are than me, which is, like, it's just it's frustrating. It's like, I remember being that age and thinking, like, oh, I'm so far away from 30, and now I'm about to hit 30. Now I'm about to hit 30. And now it's, like, marriage, kids, it's all coming up. Mr. Leahy ate a tuck. A tiger ate the cheeseburgers. Randy, you have this elaborate scene of cards. <laughs> Mr. Brown was just trying to He's make great. me laugh. He's great. 
Um, oh, not selling Daniel Jones fan club t-shirts. We have uh, Let Danny Dimes shirts, so those are kind. We have an Air, Air DJ Air shirt. DJ. And, and we just, have our first ever it. shirt, Danny Dimes, on it. Now, I maybe – it's a good shirt. You it's can go not, buy it. I don't think it's on there. It is. It's the it's, – it's, you have – I think you have to like start. It's it's a weird one, but it says in Gallimy we trust on it, and it's like I don't think anyone wants to buy that. No, uh, yeah, I think. And it's not really that. good. It's, I used the wrong picture for them to design it off of, so it's whatever. But we were the first people to do the Danny Dimes shirt. Shout out us. Um, I just ordered an Air DJ shirt. I don't care if it happened in a loss. Oh, and it, that happened in a win. Oh, it did. You're right. Yeah. I'm just used to losing. Panting. I'm just used to losing. That's that's used to losing. Every every it's programmed in your brain. The yeah. Giants played. They lost probably. Yeah. All right, so that makes me feel uh, better that I ordered an Air DJ shirt. Are you and, go ahead. no? Are you okay with Tay going forward? If Blake was let go for money first. No, they need to bring Blake Martinez. Blake Martinez is here on a bargain deal. Yeah. Like yeah. at the time, it was like, oh, we're paying this money for. Like Blake Martinez. When you look at other top linebackers in the league right now, what Darius Leonard, you know, Fred Warren's game paid. We have Blake Martinez on a steal of a deal. Like I, I hope they, I hope he gets extended. To be honest. Yeah. And just um, because the defense has had some good performances, like there's there's some people that are saying, oh, the defense has performed. Look how bad the run defense The defense is. has performed somewhat well. That means Blake Martinez is, is expendable. I mean, no. I mean, the run defense has been bad all Who all hates year. Blake Martinez more as a person than me? You, you, nobody. nobody. He is very missed in this defense. Yeah. I like take credit. It's just it's not an excuse for the defense being bad because every team has injuries, but right, it's like right. when you talk, it's like, yeah, he's very messed. He, and he's very important. And I know this is gonna sound so awful, but honestly, if you're gonna tear your ACL, I'm glad it was week one. It's true. <laughs> I mean, no, like, it's true. It's, yeah, like, yeah, it's such a bad thing, but like season. if he's gonna do it, I'm glad it was yeah. now. But yeah, he, he's very missed and um and he's got two years left, right? Yeah, he signed three. I think it was like no, three. It'd be one year left. One year left. Oh yeah, true. Because it's the second year. Three years, yeah, what could, thirty million? They, like they didn't push it. They didn't push anything back and add another year. Money wise, yeah. they didn't add another year. Oh, perfect. I thought he did restructure though. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't add any years. Um, Alex makes a good point. But Narjik McKinney for linebacker one rest of the year. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, I think he's a. a I think he's better at running the defense than Tay Crowder. Mm -hmm. The more Tay Crowder has to think, the lesser of a player he is. Yeah. Tay Crowder really pissed me off on Monday too. He's pissed me off all year. Yeah, man. that Brady like, missed tackle was. Bleh. He's pissed me off all year. I mean, he makes some good plays, but yeah. there's also just plays where it's like, come on. Man. Well, Tay Crowder has went from Mr. Irrelevant, where it's like, I was like, you know, like when we did our draft recap of 2020, I was like, I can't believe we, I was like, I would have taken this guy in the third, fourth round and been happy with it. And there's like, he, I was like, he needs to play. He plays. He plays well. But now it's like he's in a linebacker one role. It's like, well, don't yeah. that that's not the role for him. He needs to be the linebacker number two or like first guy off the bench is if you have some like you know like he was he was all he was good in that role. He's very much a complimentary player, which is which is yeah, fine. Which, which is, is fine. You like need, you need that. complimentary yeah, yeah. players. But to to have to expect him to to fill in for Blake Martinez is never gonna. I happen. think you could still like Alex was saying is just play him and just have McKinney as the like the Mike guy and then have or or, or as you know as this. It's I hate using the words Mike and Will because we're in a three four, but as like the strong side guy, and then uh, you know Crowder as the as the back side yeah. linebacker. Um, That's good point. Good point out. Jake McKay, what big money player on the Giants do you want to be gone after this season? Oh, that's a good question. Can we take out Saquon Barkley because that kind of would be the easy answer? Yes. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it's you brought it up a, earlier. We're gonna put him in a package to go to Russell Wilson. That's that's true. Saquon yeah. Barkley. Yep. Right, yep. yeah. All right, so I. I I don't the, the thing that sucks is I don't really I don't want him gone. I love him as a player and he's been nothing but but class. But the, like the no dead cap, Sterling Shepard. I mean I thought there was some sort of a little there? bit, not a ton. Okay, because we need cap space and he's kind of uh what's the word I'm looking for? Redundant. If you want to build around Tony and Galladay. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's I, – I, to me, I think that's an easy call. Yeah, and also Getting rid of him saving you, saving millions. And you hate to always say that this player is going to miss games due to injury, but it's clear, like, we were even saying yeah. in, the, in the PPP, and we're always usually super optimistic in those PPPs, but we were saying in there, it's like, all right, you have to at least put Sony Shepard on the books to miss four games, and at this point, missing – Four games yeah, is, opti more, yeah. is it's optimistic, and he so. comes back and he just hurts himself again. Like I, yeah. like I said, I love Sterling Shepard. He's been very productive for us. He's been he's been a hell of a soldier too. All this losing, um, because I think he's the longest tenure giant. Yeah, he is crazy. Uh, well, love him. Love years in a row, he's been the longest tenure. Yeah, that's that's unbelievable. But I think he would be the, the one guy that I look at big money wise um, that you can move away from and still be all right. I love your draft stuff. I always wondered how is your draft so you always doing that. So. The only one that I think I might be wrong about, and I think I got overexcited him in the, in the or way too early, was Chas. Right? He hasn't yeah. played. He hasn't played yet. But I think looking back at that, it's like he might not be built physically to play inside linebacker. 
but he hasn't played yet, so I haven't been able to really prove it wrong. But I think for the most part, we're pretty good about our our draft stuff. Yeah, you loved Quincy Roche. Yeah, yeah, as a, like a third, fourth rounder. I think that's what sucks about the draft stuff. It's like I love this guy, but you're talking about him in the fourth round. Yeah, and it's like, well, I love him in the fourth round. Um, so people are saying Riley Riley Dixon would be a. Oh yeah, player. that's that's true too. Now I I know you've said it in the past, but do you consider Bradbury? No, no, no. I probably don't either. I'm not going back to the situation of having a bad number, a yeah. bad outside yeah. corner. And Adora Jackson's been great. That's why I bring up Bradbury. Like, is that a move you can make to save Cap? Yeah, but, I mean, having him and Adore is a pretty great one-two punch. So, um, i probably lay off that What one we well. should do, draft, draft stuff again. What we should do, by the way, is – Keep a ch- what are you what are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm oh. shouting it. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm letting them know. Thank you. I'm letting them know I got their message. Um, what we should do is we should keep like a spreadsheet of like the guys that like when I say that there's a guy that like my gotta have it guys for draft season, we should keep track of it on a spreadsheet and be like each and every year and then evaluate it like see how wrong three, you are three years later, see how wrong we are, right? Yeah, that's what we should do. We're, gonna, we're gonna start that this off season. Yeah, like yeah. And it can't be like you know first round. Like I loved Andrew Thomas. I don't. I, actually, you know what? I can't take a victory lap on victory lap on Andrew Thomas because there was three other guys right there with him. Yeah. Um. So I will take a victory lap on Andrew Thomas. You just said you're not going to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I got so much hate for Andrew Thomas. Um, and I never I, understood the hate for that because I. I mean, I listen. It was I comparative to the other three because the other three started out well. Yeah. yeah but you okay. look at at each. If you just judge them like, hey, how the last four games look. Thomas was Thomas and Beckton were pretty equal. Thomas is better in the pass. Beckton was better in the run, but both good in both. Yeah, he was clearly better than Wills, and then Worfs was the best out of the four. Yeah. Um, and I, I would assume Worfs is playing really well still. So. I don't. I don't do even one iota of the the research and homework you guys do for for players. Which the, normal uh, people shouldn't. Like, right. Where, like, where like, this is where you get your information. I'd let them do it. But I always thought Andrew Thomas was the safest of the four. Like Beckton scared me because he was so big and. I it's kind of it. proving true with Beckham. Yeah, like, he's really he injury played? prone. And it's, and he played the first half of the first game. That was, that's it. Yeah. And it's been different injuries with Beckton, right. which I hate because Beckton is like one. There's, uh, I, mean, I love watching offensive line, but I feel like Beckton is an offensive lineman that everyone can watch and like it's fun to watch. He's, he's gigantic and he just sticks out. So getting to see him bulldoze people was always fun. But. Wills is a little boring. Um, and then Worfs, I think it's just like bo- like boring in a very. Is Wills ever going to move to left tackle? You mean worse? I mean, I'm sorry, worse. Yes, probably not. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Which though. I mean, th- when when played, people compare, right like back college, when too. people compare Thomas and um, Worfs, like I think it's fair to compare them to Wills, and it's fair to compare them to Beckton. Playing left tackle and right tackle, and I'm not even talking about from a positional like I'm so much harder. Talk about from a value standpoint. Mm-hmm. Playing left tackle is so much more value, particularly when you're talking about right-handed quarterback. Right. You know, so, so the most important position. So on I, don't, I don't even think you can compare yeah. like. Worfs and Thomas as players because you have a guy that's playing on the right side, a guy that's playing on the left side. I'm also not fully evaluating Worfs until Tom Brady's gone. Because yeah, that's that's the Tom other Brady thing, just yeah. improves offensive line so much. I have one <laughs> we did for we got something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, no more draft questions. It's too early, for, but I did watch Trevor Penning. Well, no, we're talking. Like we're him. talking about players that, like draft questions. Yeah, right. So. But I'm getting like questions about like next year's. Draft yeah, draft. that's seven games left. What that's time are you guys going to be at Candlewick? I don't think we'll be at Candlewick. For the rest of the weekend, but no. Candlewick will be will be catering the tailgate yes. at L sixteen on Sunday. Do you know we were there this morning though. Yes, yeah. we were. Do you know? Do we know what the menu looks like? Right no, here? I don't. No. I don't know. It's gonna. It's gonna be. Recommended so should should, should I not bring, should I not bring a grill? Like should I just? No. You never. You never bring. A grill. Yeah, I know. But we were thinking about it. Oh, of course. This is the. Yeah, of course. I know. And I said, I'm like, there's gonna be like too many what? people. Yeah. What are you doing? It's not me, okay? It's not me. I, I drink. I drink my my beer. I take my shots. I have my my bag of wine. I'm just saying. It's not the best. The, Sopran- the Sopranos. What's that Sopranos gift? What? Oh, uh, Chrissy. <laughs> Steven Toronto makes a good point. Tom Brady made Nate uh, Soldier a millionaire. A multi 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 Very rich man. Made him the most highest paid left tackle in NFL history. Offensive lineman, yeah. Um, oh, my God. He, why is he still Look, it's playing? Alexander's back. I told you he'd come back. You thought I was going to chase him away. He's back. He likes the attention. Don't give him the attention. I but I like giving people that like attention, attention. Alexander, do we, do we, we like giving people. We have, we have a beef with him. He's a, he's a cowboy fan. That's oh, God, I'm cute. <laughs> I like him. He's funny. Um, it's cowboy fan listens to the show. You, got, you, you know what? You have to respect. Right, them. they don't they don't listen to the show. They they just go on the live stream and they and they're trolls. So uh, that's what people do. I like trolls. Trolls though. good though. Yeah. yeah. 
Look what I do to LeBron. Well, yeah. Well, DJ had more RPOs in the kitchens. Do you, did you see any tendencies from that? Because I don't think – I think teams are starting to play the RPO better versus Daniel. I wanted, I mean, if Game Pass was actually a good product, I would have actually watched 2019 Baker Mayfield. But um, Mayfield's not someone you really want to run it with anyway. They actually you know, have that data right? on Pro Football Reference. Look at that. that. Check it right now. Um, we're going to be there at 8. All right. So can we do a – actually, I'll let you do that, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do another shirt giveaway. Um, maybe we should stick it at, at 4 since we only have 4 questions. But. Um, you know, that, that's no, enough. no, we have well, first of all, we have three. Qu- well, look, look we what I can do. I just look, look what I just did to the screen. Wow, that's trippy. Tripping me out, man. All right, um, should I start Gold and Fantasy? I kind of think he will. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would. They're gonna that. force feed him, which I don't, I don't in think... a sense, a little, a little bit scares me, you know, um, because like you don't want to, you want to use him, but like. It's kind of weird. It's like everything's like pointing. Like, yep, yeah, we're going to give Kenny Dolly the ball. It's like you're telling the Eagles, like, we're going to him a ton. But at the same time, he should go to him a ton. And, you know, they're probably paying attention to our film more so than they are paying attention to our quotes in the media. 58, 58 pass attempts for Baker Mayfield in 2019 that were RPOs. So that's a good amount. How many run attempts? One. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't expect a ton of it. <laughs> and I think teams are playing it better. Um Love the big table you got. Oh, that's Danny King. I was like, it's like it's not a table. It's a I am mad at Danny King. Yeah, I don't know why he's not coming on Sunday. It makes no sense to me. I'm mad at Danny King. I blame him for why the audio doesn't sound good. Uh, does does Slay? I'm like hearing something in my ears. Does Slay scare us versus Gall? No, Darius Slay is not a corner I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of. No. I saw Darius Slayton win versus him last year. That's true. He's a good yeah. corner. Like he's a good corner, but he's not a corner that like he's big, big, big name. Yeah, the, the trade and everything. But like no, he's certainly a good corner. Like, if he's your quarterback one, you've got a good quarterback one. But he's not a corner who puts any fear in me. Yeah. And and But the teammate things um, uh, are there. Oh, right, let's, let's, let's do uh, um, R. Kelly P on you guys. That's not true. And if you did, you shouldn't be shaming us for us. We'd be victims. All right. What's the next question? What's the next uh, uh, T-shirt giveaway question? What is Justin's? That's myself. Get get some of these shirts. What is Justin's favorite Shania Twain song? See you on the screen. What is Justin's favorite Shania Twain song? And I will keep an eye out as to who gets it first. What is it? Because you have to look at the chat. I I think you having that app might be giving a little bit of interference with the connection. Remember last time we were here, that happened to us? We had the YouTube up and the stream. Maybe. I don't know. So you could just look on. Someone says, "Who cares?" I actually, I actually <laughs> might give that guy the T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you're still the one? Nope. Oh, that's a good guess though. But we had like five people guess that one. First of all, man, I feel like a woman. That's face, it. What face to seer. I hope you dance. That is like Leanne Womack. Womack. Yes, that is not Shania. I actually name. like that song, which makes sense because I don't like. Shania's I do. Wife. I do love. I do love that song. I'm gonna get you good as a good guess. Man, I feel like a woman. You've got away is also a good guess. No, man. Any man of mine. Nope. I guess you're looking at it. I don't need to. I'm looking you. at it. Shania Twain. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I haven't heard Twain. It's, it's such it's, a great word. It's not any it was man like of mine. Really big when I was in ninth grade. <laughs> it's not any man of mine. Um, so this is, this is difficult. They got they got all the pockets. It's a very it's very popular. It is a Boner popular garage. Song. Is that it? Boner garage. Nope. Someone, someone said, don't know her music, and I relate. Yeah. Shania Twain kind of sucks. Shania Twain is the most popular female country artist of all time, and she has the Adolf ninth, Hitler was pretty popular, the ninth, the ninth best-selling album of all time to Come On Over, which, by the way, this song is not off of the Come On Over moment, uh, Come On Over album. Taylor Swift was bigger than her as a country singer. Taylor Swift's bigger than everybody. Stop. There would not be a Taylor Swift without Shania Twain. Yeah. Another Fair. reason why we don't like Shania Twain. <laughs> yeah, she created Taylor Swift. Gave she, us Hannah she Montana. Ruined, she ruined country music. Same way Kenny Chesney did. It's not the woman in me. It's not who who's been if your boots been under. This is this is really sad. It is not in my car. No one listens to our audience is 99% male. No one listens to Shania Twain. What do you mean? Shania Twain is smoke, she's a smoking lady. She's not as good as Shakira. Though. Smoking lady. Yeah, Shakira was hot. There's a lot of smoking ladies who do better music than we listen to. That's a good point. Forever and for always, Eli Bittner got it. Eli, Eli Bittner. We know Eli Bittner, so make sure DM, yeah. DM me for that. Give him credit. Put him on the screen. Oh, yeah. Where is it? There we go. Forever. Great name, Eli. Forever Great and name. for always. 
Eli Bittner. Eli, Eli Bittner is, a, is, is pretty funny on Twitter. Um, all right, listen, um, we still got to give away another shirt, so we just means we got to go. We got to give away two shirts. Should we just stop at four? No. I, I, I said five. I said five. All right, all right, all right. That would be very disrespectful. It's, just, it's like we got to keep talking about the Giants in here, too. You know? Well, it's I mean, like that's, that's I, what we got to do. It's no. kind of what we do. Well, I did the show. It's called. I mean, you could also describe how you got kicked out of MSG the other night. Or no, you yeah, were asked we, to move. So, but we asked to move. It pissed me off even more. I told my wife, I was like, I wish you just kicked me out. Or you could talk about, I, you know what? what? Let's, let's, let's talk about a classic story. You know, we have a Cowboys fan in here. Ugh. You, you oh, almost yeah. attacked Jerry Jones. It's true. Can you tell that story? Sure. Um, so I, we were picking my friend up from the drunk tank after the game because he got thrown in there because he was a drunken lunatic. Sounds familiar, right, Justin? But um, yeah. Yeah. So so in the drunk tank is like the players and coaches and everybody. You drive past like right there, like that's where they are. Their parking lot is next to the drunk tank. So we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, this, this huge black car pulls up. And my buddy goes, that, it's, it's Jerry Jones in there. And I went, what? So I started screaming at him, berating him, saying all these nasty, horror, horrific things. Um, he rolls down his window and goes like this, blows me a kiss. So I tried to hop the barricade. I tried to go after him. I was so annoyed. First of all, I... I was waiting there for like 30 minutes with my friend. So that, that pissed me off enough. Second of all, the Giants had lost. So that, that, that didn't really make me happy. And then he blows me a kiss. So disrespectful. Security guard ripped me off. I he like, blew you a kiss? That's actually kind of funny. It, it, you know what? It was for the things I was saying. The Cowboys, Cowboys win that game? They did. Yeah. All right. Well. So it's like I, I really didn't have a leg to stand on, and I'm just, I'm not an intimidating person. What would so you have like, done if you if you got to the car? That's a really good question. So I, I'm assuming it would be the door would be locked. I spit on. The yeah. window was down. Window was down. Yeah, blue for pre-COVID. Spit, oh yeah, spitting, pre spitting on people. Totally okay. I don't think anything else I could have done. Like if I if I hit him, I'd probably be charged with assault. I guess I could be charged with assault spitting on. The the spitting on it's, it's better. It's yeah, you're a criminal, criminal justice man. Major. I'm, I am a criminal. He justice gave man. you a job for like ten years. Someone said, James, K, nice of you guys to give Jason Garrett a spot on the show after getting fired. That is true. Which maybe we should try. Jason Garrett would actually be a good media member. We should hire Jason Garrett. I don't think he would. I think I, we could, like, it'd be funny if we could get a connect to where we could approach him and he'd be like, are you serious right there, now? There is, there, is a, there is a part of me. Because he would be way better at this than any of us, you know? There is a part of me that does things. Like, usually sometimes, you know, uh, we, we talk about it sometimes. Oh, do, we know th do we think this player maybe knows us? Do you think Judge maybe know it? Blah, 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 blah. I definitely think Jason Garrett knows that we've. I could see him not, though. Though I get to see his family do it, but everyone rips on Jason Garrett, you know? Yeah. Like, that's kind of what I didn't like. But well, we've, been, we've been doing it. So, so, yeah, I know, but. Long we, time. Like, with office coordinators, they're always, unless you're winning, like, even if you're a winning team and you lose a game, they're going to be criticized. Like, oh, the play calling, this third. Like, there's always going to be something that you can look at because you're never going to go through a game perfectly, especially in a game you lose. So, like, even, like, you know, I defended Pat Shermer. There were some people who would, you know, attack me for defending Pat Shermer. Like, snacks right here. Uh, which, again, there was things that Pat Shermer deserved criticism for. But, like, I don't think he deserved the vitriol that, like, the entire fan base had. You know what? But where I think Jason Garrett – does deserve the right. vitriol that they like yeah. like he fully did you know like patrick graham does he deserve some blame for this year in the defense the defense progression yeah but i still like patrick graham think he's a good coach but if we play so like if we play soft zone like we did for three straight weeks and win patrick graham's a genius we play soft zone and tom brady eats us up patrick graham's an idiot again like yeah. it's, it's just kind of yeah, I mean, there were lunatics out there calling Patrick Graham a con artist and stuff like that. Like, I don't know who would say that. It's, I love Patrick. I did. Think he's my favorite coach on the staff, Patrick Graham. Like, if I could spend 30 minutes and talk with someone, it'd be Patrick Graham. I, you know who I like? I, I, like, I like Rob Sale for the simple fact that he was – remember he was at practice when we were in – Oh, practice, yeah. But he was screaming. It's him, him right and Ben day. Wilkerson fucking yeah. lay into dudes, Monday man. night, the last start of the game, Ben Wilkerson was ripping the office. Do you remember that there was a guy that was yelling at guys to on the sideline, like, during yeah, the scrimmages yeah, yeah, at a yeah. – yeah. So uh, Rob Sale was ripping into the offensive line when Sax yeah. and I were in New England. It was Rob Sale that was ripping into them during, like, the individual stuff. And then Ben Wilkerson was just going after the team when they were 
when they were scrimmaging, uh, you know, Pats versus Giants. Right. He was so. laying into, I don't know what he was saying. We were trying to hear, but yeah, it was pretty cool. It's crazy that so many of the things that we saw in practice and then talked about afterwards. Like we come, also come we also true. talked about how good the Patriots looked. Yeah, we did. We were we were right on with the Patriots. And that was the day that Mac Jones played the whole game because Cam Newton or the whole day because <laughs> yeah. Cam Newton was out yeah. with COVID. Yeah. He was Mac Jones looked great. Kill him. Crazy. Kill him. Oh, look at us. Do you think the Patriots can win the Super Bowl? No. They have though. Uh, everything lines up. A good defense. They have a, a guy who's not turning the ball over and they have the greatest coach ever. So yeah, I mean and also they kinda if there was one team, not the Giants, that, that I want to win, it'd be the Patriots. Because mm-hmm. one, I just love Bill. Yeah, How cool would it be that Tom Brady and Bill split up and then Brady wins the Super Bowl and Bill wins the yeah. Super Bowl? Yeah. And then, and then the whole nonsense of, like, you know, who was better can just be stopped. Kyle, they, both, they would both win without each other. Kyle Condor just said, what's this talking to us? Take over on Twitter. I'll play it along. Um, no, I don't. Terrible audio, so I don't know if you want to. Well, it's just because I tweeted from the John Boy and Jake TV. Oh, 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 oh. I thought he was saying he wants to like, retweet something. All right, you want to <laughs> Ron Swanson, who's maybe he's one of the few like of our listeners I follow on Instagram because I like him that much. He said, Give Bobby the bag or we burn down John Boy. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right if this office burns down. Right Ron Swanson, he's he's funny. He's, he's funny. He attacks me sometimes. Um, um which right. he should be at the game on Sunday, Ron Swanson. Let's uh let's give away something else. And I have a question. Ask a question. Through how many years have I been going to Giants games? How many years? That's a good one. How many what? years have I been going to Giants games from, you know, so it's been from blah, blah, blah year to blah, blah, blah year. How many years in total? You can get some you know, some samples of the free shirts you can win if you get the answer correct. What is uh, what is the number? Uh, Wait, hold on. Nobody has gotten it yet. Some people are close. Nobody has gotten it yet. Somebody thinks 20. Uh, that means I'm very old. Oh, and did X Dutch already win a shirt? Yeah. X Dutch got it. I think he did. X Dutch got it. Right. X Dutch already got a shirt, right? Let's, we can't give him two we shirts. We can't give so. him two shirts. Oh, Andrew Dewar got it. Andrew he, was, Dewar. he was next? No, no, that was, no, I said 16. 16. So oh, well, Dutch didn't get it. He, he said 11. If you you can't do double guesses, by the way. People are getting, doing double guesses. Oh, people so are doing double guesses. So he doesn't win it anyways. All right, Aiden. Well, fa- face to see or did a double guess, and he can't do a double guess. So Aiden. Garvan. I'll just find the first person who did 16. Which was X Dutch, but then Aiden, well, we're not giving away two. I'm I'm Aiden, sorry, X. I, Aiden I, Garvan. Garvan. Why is it said so hard 16? Aiden Garvan. The thing is it's hard to get through his comments because everyone comments at one time, which makes sense. But <sighs> that was that was a lot. That was a lot of comments. I'm sorry, X Dutch. Aiden Gravon. All right, Aiden Gravon. Uh, you know, send me a proof of that your YouTube count. Uh and, and DM me Twitter. at Bobby Skinner underscore on Twitter or Instagram um, and uh, with your email address. Email address. Like, email address and then what item, color size, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing exactly. Else. Pin comment. Everything's 21% off on the store right now. We're honoring Roberto Clemente. Nope. Could be also the year. Uh, all right. Let's see. Yeah, I get. I, listen, it's a good, it's a good strategy, X Dutch. Um, <laughs> we, we weren't going to give you two anyways, even if you get. So he, so you know, um, it's just uh, it's, it is what it is. I know. Do we have a fifth question, or should I think of one? Well, I want to think of a fifth one. Are the Knicks back? All right, no, comment below. No, 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 that's not gonna be <laughs> it. You're gonna blow the comments that's, up. That's now. not gonna be it. Ooh, Bing Bong. Here's the question. Here's here's one. Are we doing it right now? No, don't you, do it right now. Well, we're at forty three minutes. Okay. Which New Jersey Nets player, and this is all time. Did I stalk and try and get let me? He had a personal Instagram account, he wouldn't let me follow. I asked him five times, I made memes about him, I talked about him on the podcast, Soul Man Radio. Am I describing the new he played for the New Jersey Nets? Um, so but is he remembered as a net? Can you give that? Yes, yeah, he, okay. he put, actually, I'm not gonna give it away because I, I, okay, I don't I'll give it away, he, but he played the majority of his career for the New Jersey, New Jersey Nets. That's the that's the hint. Jason Kidd, no, Jason Kidd's very public. Um, Kevin Durant, uh. Overrated. Darren Williams, New Jersey net, not Brooklyn. Oh, see, that's good. Good points. The caveat. Good. Point. People are saying current, like Paul. You know, like yeah, you know, uh, like Darren. Like think about it, Darren Williams doesn't have a private Instagram account. You know, he's a he's a big dude. Rafael Addison, that's a good guess. Van Horn is a good guess. Uh, Keith Van Horn, great Nick. That would be that. Keith Van Horn, I will say, is the best guess so far. Um, 
Oh, I think I know. I'm not going to say it. No, I'm not. I have no idea. Keith Van Horn used to wear his socks up to his knees. It was hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> <High yeah. side. laughs> and then we <laughs> traded him for Dikemi Mutombo, and Dikemi Mutombo barely played. Um, still mad about that trade. Here we go. George Elmer, who we know George Elmer. He actually DM'd me on Instagram today. George Elmer, Kerry Kittles. That's right. Oh. He he was uh he was like a running joke on Simple Man Radio. Like we used to like 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 make memes about him and he wouldn't let me follow him. Like I tried to I requested to follow him like eight times on Instagram and finally he did. What did so he have against you? If well he just didn't let anyone he didn't know follow him on Instagram. You know, it was like it was a personal Instagram account. So if you go look at the Simple Man Radio Instagram account. It follows like six people. One of them is Carrie Kittle because like I can't lose that access to Carrie Kittle. Who well, he does like a podcast now, and it just happened randomly. So George Elmer, um, Carrie Kittle does a podcast. Yeah, he it's was like doing about the Nets, like about the. NBA. Yeah, I don't know if they're still. Do- yeah, it was a Nets podcast. I don't know if they're still doing it. It was. I think it was for New York Post too. Um, I think our friend Sarah McCrory and Jake Brown produced it. So, um, which I think we're going to see them on 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 Sunday. So they're awesome. Jimmy All right. Fun. We're at 45 minutes. Do we close this out? I want to go for 15 more minutes. You want to push the one out? I do. I, I really do want the to push the one out. The thing is, we're getting so far off of Giants talk. Well, I mean, who cares? Come on, we'll make it back. Who cares? I mean, that's why you shouldn't have given away the fifth shirt, because now we're, we're at a point of... Well, I gave it away because I thought we were going to end this. No, I don't... I, we're, here, we're here. We got bad audio. I don't think the audio is bad. I think it's bad. Eli Bittner said, Bobby, did you get the DM from Doug? Uh, All right, so for the five of you that won, George Elmer included, Bobby Skinner's Twitter. Yes, I got it, Doug. Bobby Skinner's Instagram, um, email address, and then the item that you want uh, with color, size, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. What? Well, I, I, and I'll, I'll give you. I'll give them the email to send to yes, our guy. Yes, because we have a we have a guy. We have a guy that's going to hook us up. You know a guy? Audio is awful. How about that? Or but the best employee at Jumbo Media. Someone said their audio is awful. Yeah. It is. I, I genuinely think it is. I'm banning that guy from the chat. Um, you meet with LPG. We'll see him on uh, on Sunday. You will? Yeah. He usually does his own thing. I've never seen LPG at a Giants game. Well, I'll, I mean, I'm, I have. I've never seen it. Well, I, was, I, it was an Eagle game. I was so sitting next to him for his viral moment. I still need to screenshot my hair pointing out on that. Is that all you got? Yeah, and just be like, my, my debut what on did he say? I made the best gift. They stink. I made the best gif of, of that. Nobody else made a gif. Everybody just did the screenshot, and I had the gif. Yeah, see, people are saying it's not that bad, so. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that comment. Um, yeah, so it's like compared to usual, but we can hear fine. Yeah, well, so we're good. Um, LPG said he, he, I better have my, my notes app ready for when he comes on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, why? In what context? I don't know. Sunday night. I heard Monday night after I had sent my notes out. I said, I said to him, I was joking. I said, nine and eight. See you Sunday. Yeah. And he I'm, goes, get the notes out. I'm still I'll have on a, nine and eight. Thoughts. I'm still on I mean, nine it's, eight. It, it's possible. Is that when you guys were pissing in the bottle? For the draft shirt? Oh, yeah. Want to do it again? We do have empties here. It's a little bit more public. Want to do it again? Yeah, they would definitely see us under the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the best. We uh, we brought a lot. That was draft night, right? We we shirt, no, it was not. It was not draft night. Not, was it deep? It wasn't deep. It was, no, it, I think it was, it was night day two. two. It was day two. Yeah. yeah, you were a bad guy. You we don't record a podcast until day two, so we were. What did I do? You joined us like day two or day three. What did I do the first night? I don't know. You you were busy doing something. I don't know. No, the first night we just didn't have them on. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, I that's not, so. Day two we had them on. Day three. I thought we asked. No, it was day three we asked, and it was a Kentucky Derby day. Oh, big day! Yeah, it was just a huge party. I'm sorry. Which is how does the Kentucky Derby put their day on the day of the NFL draft? But Pretty I guess stupid. I guess they they do well enough. What was it, a total of 15 hours we live streamed through three days? Seven hours. Yeah, 15 hours. 15 hours, wow. and you guys pissed in bottles. We did. Night two was when we kind of party. We let loose. Yeah, we were, we were we were boozing up. Oh, we were. We'll traded back a couple times. Yeah, we crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh. It's crazy. We, we, we traded back in the second. We took Aziz, right, on online? Yeah. 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 And then we got Aaron Robinson, who we didn't know. Oh, that's it's right. It's a lot different yeah. when, you, when you turn the earphones off. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's any different. It just feels kind of weird. It's like, oh, we're actually sitting here talking. Um, so, Justin. There's something mental with you where you need to have the headphones on. Yeah. It, it's, or else you're weird. I admit it. It's, yeah, I'm weird in person. Like, we're good. We can We can just... Here I am. Shoot the shit. We recorded a bleeding whoops so once in, in, in person. Did we? 20, 2019. Remember we were at Nick's house? Nick's, Nick's apartment in New York? 
We didn't utilize. Oh, that's right. That's yeah, why yeah. we didn't utilize video. We just. That's right. Just yes, yes. It was just a just a podcast, and now yeah. everybody can see our stupid ugly faces on YouTube. Which every every episode of Bleeding Blue stuff says I want to be in person. We've talked. Yeah, about that's it. the plan. Right now, that's, that's the plan. That's the plan. So. And we'll see. You know, we're we're, we're flakes, so may not happen. Nope, nope. I'm I'm holding myself accountable. You sure about that? I'm holding myself accountable. What player are you excited to watch the, the last seven games? What player? Yeah, like underrated, underrated. Not like a popular opinion. I have, um, I have a couple of mine. Aaron Robinson's one. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Um, man, I Ray- feel like a woman. Raymond Johnson did that. Um, very excited for Danny Shelton I, to continue to improve. His on player. everything holy to me, I was just going to say Danny Shelton. You were you're excited. No, no, for no, no. I was, I was going to say it for you. Sarcastic. Yes, yes. yes. He is so bad. I, he, people don't talk about that enough. Where he's Dalvin Thompson, Dalvin Thompson, Dalvin Thompson. It's not about getting rid of Dalvin Thompson. It's who we chose to replace him with. And Austin Johnson has also been. I got you, Dutch. Really good. And remember. And remember how he hasn't we been like, great the last few weeks. Though. He started off good in the last few weeks. He hasn't really done much. Yeah, but re- remember we were like, I think we even said this in the PPP, the fact that yeah, exactly. we got Denny Shelton and we're paying him like a third of what Austin Johnson's getting. We Denny like, Shelton oh was God. probably my worst take of the year. Yeah, I believed you. Um, he, he's, he's legitimately. But that was like, I think that was the most beloved, like the most universally beloved Moves like wow, this is a really shrewd. I thought a Fetty. Move. I thought Fetty was really universal. See, I didn't love a Fetty because I was like, I, I was like, he doesn't fit. He does. He does his hand. The ground. I, was I like, just like. I thought he was going to take BJ Hill's role, which I would have been fine with that. Like that's yeah. that's. But I still think BJ Hill is BJ, is BJ Hill still getting like six sacks a game? Or dude, he was playing. He was playing <laughs> I, I know. I know. Let me look up his stats. Let's see if he broke. We it. need to have a conversation about this on Bleeding Blue sometime. Whether it's it's not going to be a whole episode, but um, Pro Football Reference has gone back. To like 1959, I want to say, and they've recorded like every sack because it didn't start until Michael Lawrence Taylor's second year mm-hmm. in the pros. So they don't have Lawrence Taylor's rookie season total sack total, and I think it was like seven or eight or nine, and that's more than what BJ Hill got. BJ Hill got five, five and a half sacks in 2018, yeah. and that's uh, right. is it five and a half? Five and a half. Five and a half. So BJ Hill's the leading sack getter in franchise history amongst rookies. When that's actually not true, Lawrence Taylor in his rookie season got more, more, but, but they didn't start recording them down as stats yet. Which was why it off a little bit this year. Yeah, he's, got, he's only got three. How sacks. many does his Z's have? Five and a half. Yeah. He's so tied. if he if he gets another half a sack, he's the rookie sack leader. I, I was he I, he was going to be somebody I said when I said Z's, yeah. To see, yeah. I, just because I the, our not having a we have no pass rush. Ellerson no. Smith. Ellerson Smith. That's a good one. He got a pressure, but nobody touched him. We so. we, we have no pass rush. Like I. If we had a pass rush, I would tell you right now, you take my two first round picks, both linemen. I don't care. Take them both. But watching that pass rush is be non existent. You need one. Yeah. You well, need something on the edge. Here's a conversation we didn't have on the podcast because, you know, we recorded yesterday morning. Kyle Rudolph and Kane Smith are out. <laughs> Chris Miriak season. He played a lot on Monday. Yeah, that was the guy that thought that was Colin Gillespie, but it wasn't. I almost wish Judge was calling plays. I would love to see like 10 fullback dives a game. Hey, Tom <laughs> Quinn should call plays. Tom Quinn, yeah. Don't you say anything bad about Tom Quinn. Don't you dare. Uh, Lawrence Tynes. Lawrence Tynes, yeah. yeah that, was, that was pretty funny. <laughs> and Dave, Dave Thompson, friend of the show, got in on that too. I have to check it out. I saw it when I first time. Do the New York Giants have uh, more player turnover than most other teams? I understand players stay long term is rare, but it just seems we are a turn style. I don't know. It's a good question. It is. I mean, <laughs> this, I uh, yeah. The, but you uh, you could say like a lot of our players have been around for a while. Though. Yeah, in the Dave Gettleman era, though, this at the beginning, had, yeah, yeah, like yeah. now that you're in the fourth year of GM, yeah. you're gonna it's gonna right. be, you're gonna be familiar with. Them. But I mean, that's a good point. Like, who have we extended? We uh, Shep. Shep. I think that's it. You know. We didn't extend Dalvin, you know? Logan Ryan. Well, no, I'm talking about guys that, like, we drafted and that we keep in-house. I mean, oh, Logan, Ra- Logan Ryan signed on a one-year deal, and then he signed a, you know, Shep. a Shep. two-year Shep's deal. Shep. So, I mean, I, I guess he got a point That's there. Crazy. Because point. Shep, is a, Shep and Ingram are the only two players left from Jerry Reese. And think about it, no one from the Dave Gilman draft class has been extended. <laughs> Are any of them gonna like? No, obviously not last year. This year, what they, like, the 2018 class when you look at it, it's like you have Saquon, the running back, and he hasn't been good. Will Hernandez is terrible. Like, like I would like to bring him back as a backup. But yeah, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. Should Lorenzo be Carter, but, uh, BJ Hill gone, Kyle Oletta gone, RJ McIntosh should be here, should be extended, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's it's, it's, it's putrid. And then the year after was was um, well, some of those guys are gonna. 
you know, you does, go, De- like, does Dexter Lawrence get extended? He has time to, because he's a first round pick, so he has the fifth round uh, option. Yeah. So true. he has time to, they, we have time to figure that out. Who, who, who Slayton? My God. Slayton. Man. It'll be interesting to see what happens Man. with Slayton because, it, like you said, it's kind of meh right now. Yeah. Where, you know, like, he doesn't do anything that, that, that truly impresses me. It, Slayton's I, another guy I'm interested to see under Freddie Kitchens, too. Though. Yeah. And um, he's got an opportunity this week, too, with Tony and Shep out, so. Yeah. Who's going to play the slot this week? Farrell Cooper? Farrell Cooper. Can't believe we're here. <laughs> you should put Galde in the slot and then have Colin Johnson go on the outside. Uh, yeah, just have like the three. Again, I can't three. believe we're here. Yeah. <laughs> Colin Johnson is. Oh, brutal. All right, so we gave away five shirts, right? Evan, Evan Ingram's going to line up. I think Evan Ingram has a big game, by the way. Yeah, yeah put Evan part. Ingram in the slot. And yeah. then Chris Merrick is your regular the tight person end. person who asked about starting Galde in fantasy, I think Ingram has a it's a good game. Who actually quietly hasn't been atrocious. Someone said Chris Olave is great at Slayton, which shouldn't be a hot take. He's like the number one wide receiver in this upcoming class. So, um, Good point. <laughs> yeah, over a fifth round pick. Yeah. <laughs> good point. Oh, uh, we have John Ross. People were forgetting about John Ross. Dude, John Ross. 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 Oh, Ross. Sorry. Yeah. Good, good, I can't good believe we forgot about John Ross. How could we forget? Habitual, about habitual Ross. liner. Why I love John Ross. Yeah, I, 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 I like him too. He just. I don't know. He, gets he hasn't his dropped hand. passes. No. <laughs> that was always his biggest hit. Well, he's not really a great round runner, but like he, like his drops. I'm telling you, they made Evan Ingram look like, like you know, Rob Gronkowski. Oh. And it, but he hasn't dropped the ball for us, which has been kind of funny. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm someone big... says, "Damn, it looks cold in that closet." It's actually kind of warm, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, like... probably because Justin's got his hands in his pockets. You have a sweatshirt and a hat on. I'm wearing a jacket. Yes, once you put the beanie on for the day, you're stuck. So I can understand why it looks like that. Fair point. All right, let's end this damn thing. Yeah. How long have we been going? An hour. No, no, we're, it's 56 minutes. So, it's, uh, oh, so we want to keep it in an hour so people can see it. It's like yeah, that's a digestible right. video. 56 is good. The greatest football player of all time wore number 56. That, so. is, that is so true. So we gave away the five items from the store. Um, awesome. I would recommend clicking the link that's in the description. It's also the pinned comment, 21% off. All items on the John Boy Media Store. Got some fun stuff. There's a blanket on there that I really like. Um, I actually bought two blankets recently. I think I'm going to buy one. You're going to buy a blanket? Yeah, I love it, lo- it, looked, it looked cozy. Yeah. It looks cozy. Um, yeah, I'm in on that. Draft hoodie is one of my favorite things. Um, get Usually, they the shirts run a little small. Like uh, Things usually run a little small, so I would get like a, a size up if you like things a little baggy. But if you're kind of ripped and you're kind of shredded, and get it, you know, get it your normal size, and, and you and you'll look pretty good in it. But Sam Beal thoughts, <laughs> huh? 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 Uh, Sam Beal. Thanks for having me, boys. Uh, um, all right, we'll see you guys. Uh, Snacks is gonna be on the podcast, right? Oh yeah, we didn't talk about this. Um, no, can you, you come to the you hotel didn't ask room? Him yet? No, can you come to the hotel room on Sunday and be on the podcast with after us after the game? After the game? Uh, yeah. You're gonna drive me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you come with me, I will yeah, drive you. That's yeah. Fine. Issa Cortez says, do you think we will score a field goal at the first opportunity? We will really try to do something in the red zone. Remember when Freddie Fitness came in, that's when Joe Judge went all fourth down. Yeah, like, uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're going to go go for seven. All right, we appreciate you guys. We'll see you on Monday. Or we'll see you on Sunday. Lot L16, free food. we got a, a catering for like 100 people. So if you get there and there's not food left, which there should be, don't get mad at me. Get mad at Justin. All right, we appreciate you guys. See you next time. Until then, let's go.